What's up guys? Check this the whole thing out. So some of you guys that are really into baggers right now, this is where it all started. It's a 1980 FLH T for touring. Pretty crazy, right? But this is where all you guys' Road Kings street glides, road glides came from. So we ended up rebuilding the top end for Ted on this motorcycle. So I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the video on uh, the rebuilding process. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, make sure you guys like, follow, and subscribe so you can see some of the other cool videos we have coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so here we have the shovel head motor already torn apart and everything. So I wanted to show you guys uh, big grooves that are in the cylinders right there. So the piston pin had came out of the piston. Not that much, but it came out of the piston and damaged the wall. You can see where it's all full of carbon, where the oil was just passing by there. So we already got the heads cleaned up, going to start cutting the valve seats and everything. But I wanted to show you guys, here we have the new cylinders from V-Twin. We're just going back with cast cylinders, hasting rings. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all washed, cleaned out, get them all prepared, go ahead and start getting the rings, pistons installed, then we'll mount the cylinders, and then we'll continue working on the heads. So we'll keep you guys updated as we go along. All right, so we have our cylinder all washed, prepared, ready to go. We have some installation lube here, so assembly lube. We got a lube on our rings. Now something I wanna talk to you guys about is uh, make sure that your pistons and your piston pins have enough uh, play where this moves up sideways and moves freely basically. The older pistons uh, were stuck on so bad that th these things were frozen in, in the piston and in the pinion bushing. So uh, you can see where you have to hammer it in and it shouldn't be like that. So make sure that when you guys start assembling something like this you guys take the time to make sure that they move freely and stuff so right now i'm going to install the cylinders and then keep going from there all right pistons rings cylinders are on everything tight to specs <clears throat> we have one blasting the head so we can start cutting the valve seats so meanwhile what i did is i machined the valve itself you can see right here the 45 degree compared to the older one without being machined you can see how they're pretty damaged. And it's just life service. You know, the valve goes up and down and hits that seat all the time. So it's always best to start with a fresh valve seat and a fresh valve so it can make sure it seals and uh, closes when it's supposed to close. So what we're gonna do is once one's done blasting, we'll go ahead and start cutting the valve seats. Okay, so we just finished cutting the valve seats on this head here. That's your intake side. This is your exhaust side. So we're going to get set up to cut this head next. You can see where the stone cut the seat right there where it's nice and shiny. So there we go, that was a nice clean cut. So we're gonna get set up to do the exhaust one. All right, so we started cut cutting the exhaust valve seat and you can see right here, that's a nice little cut right there. But if you look at the other side of the valve seat, the stone barely even touched it right there where the high part is, where the shiny part is. That's not good, that means that the valve would have not seated real good on that seat. So we need to cut it a little bit more so it is the same like on the intake side the same angle and the same thickness all the way around so let me get set up and let me take care of that all right so we have all this set up ready for us to start assembling the valves and valve springs on this head 
I just wanted to show you guys something here. So this is the lower collar of the valve spring kit. So originally, this valve seal fits in there. So this valve collar goes, goes right there. Normally, the valve guide seal goes there. But the new seal is bigger diameter than that one. So we have to machine the lower collar to make it fit. So we have it set up on the lathe already. And we just recently did a pass and machined it. So right now we're gonna get ready to do the last pass. All right, so there we have it already cut. So get this one off and let me start assembling. All right, so here's the heads already assembled. Valve springs are on, valve, valve guides. Getting ready to install the rocker arms and the rocker box set. So these are your rocker arms. So we're gonna go ahead and install the new gaskets and then uh, get the hardware on there. So let me go ahead and get that done and then start getting ready to assemble them on the motorcycle. All right guys, so we have the rear head installed and bolted down to torques to torque specs. So I wanted to show you some of the tools that we're using to tighten this up. So this is a tool 916 snap-on tool that I've had for a long time. So the reason why I use this tool is because you'll be able to get more turn on the bolt uh, compared to if you would use a regular 916 wrench, you don't get to turn that much. So it'll be take you longer to bolt it down compared to this one where you get more throw in there. Then also, it's another snap-on tool I've had for a long time also. And this is the one I use to torque it down. So you can get in here and be able to torque it down compared to the other one that's just regular straight, you won't be able to. But with this one, you get different angles. You'll be able to get even to the hard one that's back here to torque that one down as well. But I just wanted to show you this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish torquing these down and then start with the push rods. All right guys, so I got carried away and started, uh, just went crazy and started assembling everything. So I didn't do much of a video after that, but we already got everything adjusted, push rods and carburetor on, exhaust is on. The last thing we got going on right now is going to be installing our spark plugs. NGKs are to go brand. So we're gonna go ahead and install those. Pump some new fuel in here and get ready to start it. Make sure everything runs good. Once it warms up really nice, we'll go ahead and come back and retorque everything. And then uh, let it cool off, start it again, let it get nice and warm and then let it cool off again. That's kind of the process we do. And then I'll put some test miles on it. So let's see how this goes.